characters to share with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Kyle Kregel and I'm an artist at Cirque du Soleil. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Color Me Cirque, the Cirque du Soleil makeup tutorial series hosted by yours truly. My name is Kyle, I'm an artist here at Cirque du Soleil and I am here every week to guide you through a step-by-step -step process of some of my favorite Cirque du Soleil looks. This week we are doing our third and final look from our show Totem. This character is called Cosmonaut. It's a nice little colorful eye makeup and a nice dark lip. You guys will see, it's a lot of fun. If you guys want to stick around for this tutorial, make sure that you check out the description box. We cover in great detail the tools and products that you're going to need to be able to replicate this look with me today. I'm so excited, the tutorial's about to start. Get ready. Here we go. I hope that you guys are doing well. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. Today we are doing this fun makeup from our show Totem. These characters are called the Cosmonauts. As you can see, we got some primary colors, we got some glitter. It's super nice, so if you guys wanna go ahead and follow along with me, get your brushes ready. Okay, today we are starting off with a cream foundation. This foundation is actually lighter than my skin tone. I would say it's probably two to three shades lighter. We're just going to apply this foundation with a regular makeup sponge all over the face, pretty much, except for the eyelids. All right, one foundation color is laid down and we have one more to go. So I'm going to grab a sponge and I'm going to apply a foundation that is going to act as our shading. Now, this foundation is actually going to resemble my skin tone very, very much, but it is a shading foundation in relation to the lighter foundation that we've earlier applied. Um, just keep in mind that this character is usually wearing a hat or a full-out costume, so this might look a little weird on me without the costume, but with the costume, it all makes sense. So I'm gonna go through with the sponge and I'm going to start by applying this on the outer part of the cheekbones, making sort of a light diagonal curve down the face. I'm going to then work it up onto the temples. We are also going to apply this under the jawbone and then we are going to grab a brush and apply it in more places later. We're going to continue on with the shading but this time with a brush, I'm just gonna grab that same foundation and I'm actually going to apply it under my mouth to define the crease of the chin and then I will take that brush and apply it on both sides of my nose as well. All right, now that we can see our chin and our nose a little bit clearer, I'm going to go in with a small cat tongue definer brush, same shading foundation, and I'm going to define a little teardrop shape right above my lip. I do use my Cupid's bow as a guide and I'm gonna make a little teardrop shape that will end up almost touching the top of my nose. Once you've completed this shape, we are gonna create some round curves to kind of define the upper lip. We just wanna make sure that there's a space in between the teardrop shape that we just created and the curved lines that we're gonna to use to define our upper lip as well. Now that we've placed the colors where we want them, we're just gonna go through and blend them. Personally, I go through and I blend with the respective tools, so wherever I applied with the sponge, I will blend out with the sponge as it's a bigger area, and wherever I applied with brushes, I use those small brushes just to blend out the edges and make sure that we keep the intensity, but also have a nice blend. Now that we have a nice layer of foundation all over our face, we can start on the eyes. So I'm just going to grab a medium-sized flat eyeshadow brush and a white foundation, and I'm going to start to define a circular shape on the upper portion of my eyelids. Basically, I'm just gonna follow my natural crease, but draw the shape a little bit further above. We don't want this shape to be too big either, but we definitely want to be able to see it at all times. Now I'm gonna take a white eyeliner pencil and draw a line on the lower lash line. This line will connect with the white that we have on the upper portion of the lid on the outside, and it will not connect on the inside. Make sure that the ending of the line on the inside of the eye has a nice rounded shape. Once you've finished one side, you're going to repeat the exact same steps on the other. Next step, we are going to take a similarly sized eyeshadow brush, but this time a yellow cream, and we're gonna draw a yellow circular shape around the white shape that we've already defined. This line should be about as thick as the brush. I actually don't know the specs of this brush, so I couldn't tell you exactly how thick it is, but if you just use the video as a reference, you'll get a good idea of how thick it needs to be. If your eyes are shaped anything like me, you are gonna have to put that yellow cream up in your eyebrow. Don't worry, we will come back in later on and make it a little bit more opaque. Okay, now that that circular shape is looking great, I'm going to go in with a mascara brush, or a spoolie, if that's how you like to refer to it, with a generous amount of this yellow cream foundation, and I'm just going to lightly apply it to my eyebrows. Now, if you apply this with too much force, it's literally just gonna have the same effect as if you applied it with the brush, so just lightly run through the hairs that you want to have colored in a few directions until you get the desired opacity. 
Okay, next I'm taking a red eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to quickly mark out on the inner portion of my eye where the red will end up being in between the yellow and the white. Next, I'm going to draw two straight lines right on the inside of my eyebrows. A good reference for this is to kind of continue the contouring lines that we applied on the nose. So just draw those lines straight up. Once I have a rough map of where I want those lines to go, I'm just taking a small cat tongue definer brush and I'm just going to finesse those lines and pull them out to the final length of where I want them. Once I'm happy with the placement of the top of the lines, I'm just going to take the same pencil and draw a triangular shape that will go down towards the eyebrow at about a 45, 40 degree angle. Once you're happy with the triangular shape, go ahead and fill in the shape with the red pencil. And once again, I'm going to take that little definer brush and continue to finesse the shapes as needed. Okay, now that we are happy with those two triangles on the upper portion of the face slash eyes, I'm going to continue on and draw two more triangles on the bottom portion of this shape. So remember where I mapped out and drew that little red dot on the inner corner of my eye? I'm gonna pull our straight line straight down the nose and pull another line straight in diagonally to intersect in order to create that triangular shape. The two triangles on the bottom portion of this shape are gonna be slightly smaller than the top two. As you're continuing to use the pencil and the brush to complete these two triangles, notice that the inside of this triangular sort of form is rounded on that yellow edge. We wanna make sure that that circular shape that we already created with the yellow stays existing. So we want two nice triangles on the top and the bottom, but we also want a nice curve connecting those two triangles to make sure that the yellow stays nice and round. Okay, now that our red is all laid down, we are going to go in with a blue pencil and another definer brush that is exactly the same as the one that we were using for the red, and we're going to draw on a little eyebrow. Notes for this eyebrow, it's not too rounded, there is quite a sharp arch on this, and the blue at the beginning of the eyebrow should be touching the red and the yellow, as well as the base of the eyebrow, basically following the yellow, but still having that sharp curve on the peak. And as usual, once I feel like I have enough of that blue product laid down, I'm predominantly gonna use the definer brush to really make sure that the shape is exactly how I want it. Once you're done on one side, repeat on the other. All right, we are done with the basic shapes of our eyes, so now we are going to move on to the lips. I'm just gonna take a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to completely outline my lip shape as I would normally do. No fun shapes here, nothing crazy, just outline your natural lips. Once you're done with the outline, you can go ahead and completely fill in the upper lip with that pencil. And for the bottom lip, I'm going to grab a little cat tongue definer brush and I'm actually just going to blend the two edges together. So what you wanna see is that highlight foundation shade in the center of the lip fading into the nice deep black line. If you need to apply more foundation to the lips, feel free to dip into that color with that brush to really make sure that that blend is nice and beautiful. Alrighty, foundation is done, so it is time to apply a translucent setting powder with a powder puff all over the face. The only note that I have for you guys is that since we do have that white cream on the eyelids, I'm gonna go in and touch it up before I set the eyelids. So just grab your brush or a little white sponge, make sure that there's no crease lines on your eye and set them down as well. And now that you have generously applied that powder everywhere, just grab a powder brush and remove the excess. I really love this step actually. <laughs> For our first step, we are gonna go ahead and continue to highlight the face. So I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm taking a whitish gold pigment and I'm going to run that on the bridge of my nose all the way up to my forehead. I'm gonna grab a little bit of it and put it just under my eyes, not a huge area, like a big highlight under the cheekbone, just lightly right under the eyes. And then I'm also going to apply it right on top of my chin. Next, I'm going to grab a big brush and a medium toned contour powder that pretty much matches the color of the foundation and I'm just going to use this big brush to redefine my temples a little bit on the top of my forehead, under my cheekbone, and under my jawbone as well. Alright, now that you're done with that big brush, throw it away and get a mid-size eyeshadow brush. Same contouring powder and we're just going to apply this color on the sides of the nose, a little bit under your nose, and on that chin crease right under the bottom lip. Make sure that as you're applying this, you have a nice amount of intensity, but you continue to blend as you apply. And to complete the defining phase of our contours, I'm going to take a little, little defining brush, that normal cat tongue that we've been using, same contour powder, and I am going to define that teardrop shape that we drew above the upper lip. 
as well as those curved shapes that we drew right beside those teardrops. The teardrop shape can be quite harsh. It doesn't need to be super blended. However, the shapes next to it do need to blend out into that foundation on the outer edge. If you would like, you can use the definer brush to apply that powder under the nose. I actually lied to you guys just a second ago and decided to go with the bigger eyeshadow brush. I found that it had more of a diffusing effect. All right, once that is done, I'm gonna go in with another big fluffy brush and I'm going to apply yet another contour powder on top of where we've already contoured. Now, this powder, I would compare more to a bronzer. It's sort of like a bronze with a shimmery finish. And I'm just gonna apply that on the temples, under my cheekbone, under my jawline, and on each side of the nose. All right, for the next step, I'm taking a medium-sized eyeshadow brush and a yellow eyeshadow. This one has a sheen on it, like in some of our other videos. And I'm just gonna apply this directly on top of the area where we applied the yellow cream. Nothing special, just re-intensifying this color. Make sure that you pack it on nice and intense on top of the eyebrow, especially if you have dark ones like me. So for this next step, you're gonna have to have two products ready. First, you are going to use a water-based white, so basically a face paint, and you're gonna apply this all over the eyelid in the exact shape that we already created. Now, keeping your eye closed, once this is completely applied and still wet, you're going to apply a shimmery white pigment right on top of it. You'll see me doing these steps in a second. I'm just still finishing. Just remember that with this step, you need to move quickly. Once you're done on one side, you're gonna grab that little definer brush and repeat the same steps on the other side. I'm doing these one by one, eyelid by eyelid, as to avoid creasing. So you really want to apply the white on one side, apply the pigment on one side, and then move on and repeat the steps on the other. All right, white is looking nice and intense. We're gonna go in with a very small definer brush and redefine that red shape that we have with another water-based paint. You could also use an eyeshadow for this and apply it wet if you wanted, but water-based face paints are a lot more convenient. And if you do one side in the red, you can't forget the other. For our next step, we're gonna take a little eyeliner brush and a black cream or gel liner, and we're just gonna draw a basic straight line on the top of the upper lash line. Now that we have a nice eyeliner going on both sides, we are gonna draw a new shape under the eyes. So I'm just gonna start off by drawing a line that follows that little white area that we defined under the eyes earlier. And I'm gonna end up making like a little ribbon or kind of flagged out shape. This is gonna be kind of hard to describe, so once again, bear with me. On the inner portion of the eye, we wanna make sure that there's a nice thick black line that ends in a rounded shape right under the actual ending of your eye. The lower line of that shape is going to pull straight out, and from there, we're going to make a little double triangle shape. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> now that I have that lower portion defined, I'm going to go right at the corner of my eye and draw a line straight out from there. Once I have that straight little line going, I'm just going to connect the two in a little triangular shape. So we're gonna end up with two peaks. Once you have the outline of this shape exactly where you want it, we're just gonna go in with that product and fill it all in. For the next step, we are going to draw a zigzag shape with the same product and the same brush on the top of our eye shape. The way that I've gone about doing it, I basically draw a shape that's exactly the same as the blue eyebrow that we drew, but in black right above it. And once I have finished that eyebrow shape, I'm going to connect it by drawing another black line that will start from the inner ending of our eyebrow and follow that red triangular shape up. Okay, now that our black shapes are laid down, I am now going to go in with a blue liquid eyeliner, and I'm just going to define the lower lash line shape that we have going, and the eyebrow with this color. For the lower shape, we still wanna feel a little bit of black, so go just on the inside of the shape, and then with this blue liner, you're gonna completely draw over the eyebrow exactly where we had it placed before. Now that I finished the lower portion, I'm going to go back in and define the eyebrows with this blue as well. Once our blue liquid liner is laid down, I'm actually going to go in with a bright blue glitter that is mixed with a little bit of water or a mixing medium of your choice, and I'm going to apply that over the blue areas that we just defined. Okay, now that we are sparkling in blue, I'm gonna take a little eyeliner brush and that same white face paint, and I'm just gonna apply that white under the lower lash line. 
All right, and once you have defined the lower lash line, we are going to add a little bit more detail work on top of the eyebrows. So once again, we are just going to follow the eyebrows as they are in this white, making sure that the white line still has a similar thickness to the black line. The only difference is that we're actually going to add a vertical line that will extend from the top peak of the triangle up onto the face. So I'm going to start off by drawing those vertical lines and then following my eyebrow shape all the way until I have it done on both sides. <laughs> This step is all about precision, so make sure that you take your time. Personally, I think that this is one of the harder steps, actually probably the hardest step of the makeup, so don't be afraid to just take your time, make sure that your white is super precise and super opaque. And of course, as usual, to complete our eye, we're just gonna throw a light coat of mascara on the upper lashes only. All right, now that the eyes are done, all that we have left are the lips. I'm actually just going to go in with a little definer brush and a black eyeshadow. This particular black eyeshadow has a little bit of shimmer in it. It's not really like glitter, but it's just kind of a shimmery black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to re-outline and redefine the entire upper lip with this shadow. And now that the top lip is looking great, we are just gonna apply that same black powder on the lower portion of the lips, making sure that we just cover all the areas where we had the black pencil laid down previously. And to complete this lip, I'm gonna go in with that flat eyeshadow brush and a little tiny bit of that sheer bronzer that we used earlier. Not too much, we don't want this lip to be too dark, we just wanna add that shimmer from the bronzer on top. All right, and now that your lips are done, the entire look is actually completed as well. I really love this makeup, I think it's super simple. The shapes actually are a little harder to do than you would expect, but they turn out looking super great. Love the glitter, love the black lip. I love it all, and I hope that you guys love it too. All right guys, it is that time again. The tutorial is over. I'm sad, but I'm pretty sure that you guys would be really happy because I'm sure that you guys look absolutely fabulous right now. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It makes the world go round thumbs ups everywhere. And if you really love this video, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel. I would love for you to join the Cirque family and I'd love to see you back here next week. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am and I will see you next week for the next tutorial.